Hello, welcome everybody. Good morning, Friday. APG Studio, yoga for beginners and not only for beginners because this is our regular session with my members and you've got the special access right now for another five days. Yeah, I think it's five days or four, I need to check that. <laughs> but still, yeah, until Wednesday, let's say, so you can count how many days. And yeah, fitness yoga. Don't worry if you never tried yoga before, still you can do this session with us. The first option when I'm going to demonstrate is, is the easy one to start. And every other one is to try more, challenge your body and progress with the stretching and flexibility. So as I mentioned, it's yoga for all levels, from beginners to more advanced. Okay, ready to start. One thing, prepare some drink because in my sessions, yoga is kind of exercise, so it's good to sip water during the session. It's 60 minutes, we've got 10 minutes relaxation at the end, and we've got a few quick breaks just for your drink. Ready to start. Okay, so start to stand up position, feet with your hips with the apart. Inhale, arms up, try to reach really high. Both your head. Feel this nice stretch in your upper body to stretch your arms, lengthen your spine. And when you exhale, to relax your shoulders. Inhale. And slowly exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And two more. Inhale. Slow the exhale. And one more. And now right arm. Inhale, keep it straight. Exhale, bend your elbow. Inhale, just make sure as you bend your elbow and you're reaching back, pulling your arm back. You're not arching your lower back. So you're not pushing your belly forward. Just keep your lower back in a safe, natural position by engaging muscles of the front of your abs. Nothing changing here. Sometimes people train too much and they, they think elbow is further, but it's only because you're making this position change in your upper body. It's not really good. Not the perfect one for your lower back. Inhale. Slowly exhale. Inhale, and exhale. And hold, maybe that's enough. If you're ready to stretch more, left hand, to push your elbow back. If you're still fine, you can try this way from the back to pull. It's not to your head, it's pulling back to stretch your right side, upper body. Or maybe some of you are ready to reach this way. Again, looking down, pulling your chin to your chest. That's another compensation. We're struggling this one and that's your position. It's all about pointing your right elbow upright. To feel nice stretching your right arm, shoulder, chest. Inhale, slowly exhale. And now you left, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Hold. Again. Check. Maybe that's enough. You're feeling already this stretch. So hold it here. If you've got some space, room. To stretch more, try to pull back. If it's enough, that's your option. If you still feel like, yeah, I need deeper stretch. So this is the way to go for deeper stretch to progress with flexibility if your body is ready. So it's not like you can choose one of these options. Is how to eventually go for deeper stretching, for more range of movement in your shoulder. Inhale, lift, slow, relax. And now, right hand on your head. Try to relax your right shoulder. How to do it? Just lift and relax. You need to feel, yeah, that's nice. Nice and relax. Good breaths. 
Deep breath in and slowly out. Inhale, lift your right arm, exhale, strong glutes, strong abs to bend to your left side. Be nice stretch on your right. Inhale, slowly exhale. Inhale, slowly exhale. And relax. Now, stretch your neck on your right, relax your right shoulder. So again, lift and slowly pull it down. Keep smiling, enjoy. Nice stretch in your neck. Inhale, lift. Slowly exhale. Without moving your hips, rocking to your side. That's why I ask you to control this area to keep good stability for your lower body as you're working from waist up to stretch your left side and it's a good challenge for your obliques on your right side. Inhale and exhale. Inhale slowly exhale. And relax. Now let's roll your shoulders backward first. To mobilize your shoulder joints before you start stretching later on. Especially the first sessions in the morning, we need to do some stretching as a warm up. And backward, we could feel the stretch in your upper back. Is it nice? Yeah. One more. And relax. You're going to stay facing forward. I'm going to change sometimes position to see what's going on because on the side sometimes it's easier to see. But you stay in this side. Inhale, arms up. When you exhale, bend your knees, kind of squat position, so hips low, bend your knees and slowly fold forward. Rock your elbows, rock your arms side to side. Feel stretch, back of your legs, even if your knees bent, we still stretching these muscles, long hamstring, but you go easy in your lower back because you're resting the weight from your upper body on your legs. If you can't go that low, don't have the flexibility in your glutes and your lower back, you can choose this option. So you're just resting your arms and your legs and you can just rock side to side the whole your body. But if you're comfortable, you go really low, rock your arms side to side. Try to relax your head, maybe shake it as well. There's no more tension in your neck, hopefully. And now hands on the floor and step back the down dog position. Please forget about the picture down dog straight legs. Point is you need to feel the stretch in the right place, which is back of your legs. And you're able to make this movement with your hips back. Right? So this is more important than straight legs for now. Right? So if you need to yoga, hips really high, maybe like this, but really try. Bringing your belly, your rib cage towards your thighs. That's the way to progress and eventually maybe one day straight legs, but it's not the case, okay? It's all about stretching. And now you inhale, moving forward, so maybe that's for you for now, or if you've got more strength, you can go to full plank and exhale again, down dog. I'm going to stick on the First option, okay, inhale. Let's get to you. We'll really show you what it's all about. Is that, yeah, you can do that for your hips. This movement, dropping hips, is not the good combination for your lower back. We're making this movement to make your core muscles stronger to protect your lower back. So if you 
Don't have that much strength in your upper body. Tiny movement forward. Holding keeps higher than dropping too low like this. Okay, for now, if you're really new to yoga, maybe that's enough for you and it's absolutely fine. I'm not expecting you to do the full plank position from day one, but by my members with me, so they are ready for full plank. Inhale and exhale. You can stop anytime. I can guide you during the class, what we're doing, how long, but at the end of the day, it's your body and you're only one person who knows your body the best. And if it's enough, it's enough. One step, few steps, that's okay. As long as you're comfortable coming back to center, towards your hands. And again, maybe that's your option, but please don't try to straight legs, okay? Bend your knees, rest here or go lower. And now try to rock your body back and forth. Relax your head maybe. And that's a good moment to focus on your abs. Pull them in through the spine. Every folding forward, bending forward position is a great alignment with your hips to work and practice and learn how to control your abs. Now you need feet wider to rock your body or your hips side to side. You can feel the stretch. Now it's more for your hips, glutes and your lower back. Moving back and forward is more for your hamstrings. Feeling good stretch. If it's too strong again, go higher, right? And back to the downward position again. I'm going to lift left leg and exhale, bend your knee and try to swing forward. If you're stronger, maybe it's gonna be plank, left knee to your left arm between or with twist to your right. Inhale, exhale, that's option one. And it's absolutely fine, even if your right knee bent and heel off the floor, using the same muscle as someone who is doing plank with twist to the right side, but it's just a matter of strength and flexibility. So find your position, check if you easily can control the movement, muscles and your breaths all together. <laughs> Inhale and exhale. Maybe two more, inhale your leg up, exhale, and make your movement, your decision. What's gonna be? And now left. Again, I show the first, holding down dog, knee bent, so you really strengthen your left leg as well. If you're stronger, maybe tiny movement forward or all the way to your right arm, maybe between or twist. This is the proper challenge. If you're ready, right knee to your left arm. Inhale and exhale. Maybe three more. And last one. Bring your right foot, knees, and resting shy moves. Someone with tight hips, problems with ankle knees, maybe there's no much mobility, probably you don't like child pose, so that's your variation. Head, I'm trying to use muscles in your neck, so make a twist with your hands, rest your forehead, and enjoy the stretching. Your glutes, hips, lower back. If you're more flexible, of course, you can move lower. Maybe you're absolutely fine, comfortable. So you can sit on your feet. But again, you're trying to keep your head high to work with your neck muscles instead of dropping head like this. Okay. Yes. So if you prefer to rest, again, hands, make a fist, put one on each other, 
top of each other and on this position instantly. So far so good. Okay, first quick break, just a few sips. Water, herbal tea probably is the best choice. Hope she's not coughing. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Start on your knees. Left foot forward. Your left foot. I'm on the side because we're going to twist the left side, so we need to see what's going on. So first, going to work for more flexibility left and right side so left you're going to feel your hip glutes lower back front is gonna be front the right leg is front your hip flexor quadricep what is important you need to squeeze your glutes clench your buttox muscles on your right side to support lower back and you keep your upright position really high and tall really high and exhale. If you place your foot too close, that's the movement. It's more on your knee than stretching here. If you're lifting your heel, that's the sign you need more space between your foot and your hip. So you need to move forward and shake. If you've got your knee directly above your ankle, okay? Always keeping the right alignment because that's the sign you're using muscles right way. Okay, so one thing you need to be aware, where you place your foot. If it's not in line with your knee and your hip, somewhere here, your movement's gonna be like this. Okay, bring foot, knee in hip line, just front of you to make movement straight forward, no sideways, all right? In high and exhale. Strong glutes. You can continue if you're feeling that's a good stretch, but you're not ready to hold it for now, for some time. Just keep moving back and forward to slowly warm your muscles and show you, okay, this is the way I'm going to stretch now. If you're ready for more, you're going to hold this position and you can lift your arms in high. Slowly exhale, show this back and down. Inhale. Slowly exhale. If it's too much for you, too long to stretch, go to the child pose and just wait as you're going to change the side. Inhale. Slowly exhale. You're still with me. Right arm behind, reach for your left. Inhale and exhale. Keep to bend forward. You stretch your legs even more. So every other option is for deeper, stronger stretch. If you're not ready, stay on the same. That's okay. Inhale and exhale. Still good? Try. So right knee on the floor. Tuck your toes and lift your right knee. So you need to squeeze your glutes in your right side even more you still okay hands keep shoulders back as you're stretching your legs challenge this part we can stretch chest and shoulders inhale and exhale and maybe one more on your four or plank to change your leg and start again. Inhale and exhale. Now, please don't forget, use muscles on your left side. Just for your head puppy, help your lower back. Inhale and exhale. Now, you're leaning forward, keeping chest high to work with your hip flexor. And again, if you're moving in straight line or you're just going to your right, check this and correct your foot if you need to. You can hold or that's fine, keep going. Inhale, arms up, slowly exhale. Inhale, and exhale. 
left arm for your right, inhale, and exhale. Now we will lower, as you are in this position, the hips low, is deeper, stretch on your right side, and keep your left leg as well. You see that? Ready for more challenge? Left knee off the floor, inhale, and exhale. Of course, you can try, but if you're struggling with balance, you can control your muscles. Better to back to the previous one for now. Inhale, and exhale. On your four or again, to plank and down the position, march in the spot again. On your four, to try pose. Stretch your arms front of you, hands with your shoulders to the point. When you inhale, push it all your way forward, squeezing lots, engaging up. So you're not dropping your belly. And exhale, slowly go back. Inhale. And exhale with your straight arms. Now push your shoulders to the point, so you're not pushing elbows out. Or maybe you're stronger. So try to bend your elbows back. Watch where your joints pointing. And you keep pointing back, not out. Okay, so that's the way to practice how to build the strength for yoga push up as I call. Try to run back. Real high and exhale. Maybe one more. And rest and try pose. Remember, there's no one option for everyone. Yoga is for everybody, everyone, but everyone's yoga is different. And that's, yeah, that's what it is. If you're ready for more, maybe stretch your arms from the table. Or stretching your hips, glutes, as well as your chest. Knees out, your legs out, okay, making more space. To bring in your torso closer to the floor. And good breaths, beautiful smile. Mm -hmm. And slowly, just relax. How are we doing so far? Good. Let's stand up. Your legs wider. Your position. You can try wider. Yeah, why not? But you think to feel you're losing the grip or muscles start to be tired. This is the way. Slowly, easy. Bring them closer to be comfortable and stable with this stretch. Okay, so for now, you can try as wide as is comfortable for this moment. But as you need to stay longer, you can correct if you need to. Hands and hips, both legs straight in height. When you exhale, bend forward. Inhale, lift a couple inches, and exhale, bend forward. Show you from the side, your lower back needs to be flat. Okay, so it doesn't matter how low you go, it's not your head first, it's your shoulders, okay? Inhale, and exhale. So holding head, neck, your spine line, and this is like a one piece. You can't bend in the middle somewhere, just from your hips, like a hinge. Okay, so think about lengthen your spine, make it really long and tall, and instead pushing chest down directly, think about reaching forward. So you're really reaching forward with your chest and eventually going down. So hopefully that explains what the movement needs to be to stretch your hips glutes and your lower back. Inhale and exhale. The music is out of control today. Now you to hold. Maybe you need to stay higher, maybe lower, but not lower than upper body parallel to the floor. Inhale, stay in the center. As you exhale, to rotate your upper body, so your right shoulder to the floor, left up. 
Inhale, center, and now to your right. Again, it's no competition how deep you can go with this twist is to find the position movement which is right for you as long as the stretch. When you twist to your right, but you feel stretch, left leg, your inner thigh is comfortable, that's okay. But if it's too strong, you just want to stop. This is the simple sign for the body. You're just pushing for too much. Inhale. And exhale. Wash your gut. Both knees straight. You can even engage your quadriceps to activate front of your legs as you're stretching the back part. Inhale, center. And then exhale. Again, if it's too long, just take a break. If you're still with me, Keep your hands in your hips and you try to lift your left arm. Inhale, slowly exhale. Some of you, my members, regular people on yoga, able to place hand on the floor. Maybe just fingertips, maybe flat hand. But your lower back is still nice and flat. Okay, so if you're making this movement, round back to reach to the floor is much better to hold your hands in your hips to work with your muscles in the right alignment trust me one day you're gonna be here quicker than you think but avoid forcing yourself too much for now inhale and exhale maybe one more hands in your hips as you right. Inhale, maybe you really high for chest, which is okay, like this. Still using the same muscles, and that's the point. Okay, it's no perfect yoga, yoga pose, it's a position for you for now because as you practice more, you just improve your flexibility and strength, and you gain deeper the stretch. Inhale and exhale. Maybe one more. Hands and hips. Slowly all the Shake your legs. Good stretch. Feeling muscles here? Yes. Now long muscles here. The current hamstring takes time to stretch. So that's why it's no shortcut in here. Okay. Cheer, guys. Start on your knees, right leg forward. This time we need your leg slightly out so you can place your hands on the floor if your shoulders move apart. So you've got your right underneath your right shoulder. So when you place your foot knee in line with your hip, you can hold this position. So you need slightly out to make this position. Show you from the side, even if you don't have that much flexibility, start your leg closer and you're able to do that. Okay, so that's for start. If you've got more, move your leg forward and you can push your hips because you're still stretching your legs and hips. Now, you're going to move your leg out, but first, toes on your right foot pointing up to activate muscles around your ankle to lock this area because we want the stretch higher if you relax most of the stretching goes to your ankle now we want this ankle to be locked to feel the stretch in your hip but one inch still works remember you're working for yourself with your own body and just respect any limitations okay? so it's nothing like you have to push, feeling like you're torture and you want to stop because at the end of the day, it's your time and you should enjoy every second of it. Inhale and exhale. Some of you may be ready for more. I'll show you from this side. As you move your leg, not your hips, just your leg, 
in and out. Maybe some of you are ready to place left elbow on the floor. As you're going lower, deeper stretch on your right. Okay. So when you decide to try, feel if your upper body is going lower with your elbow or it's like this. Okay. Everything goes down. That's a sign. Yeah, body is ready for deeper stretch because you can, you, you're able to pull everything to the floor. So maybe right side is higher, or you're trying to press your elbow as well. And still rocking your right leg in and out. Inhale, exhale. Still ready for more. Take your toes on your left foot. To lift your knee, squeeze your glutes and your left even stronger. And now you've got your right foot flat on the floor and check how is your position right now. So if you're with me really low, where is your knee? Okay, if you decide to place both elbows, but you're pushing your leg out, your body's struggling with this one. This is just too much. So better. Lift your right side and bring your knee close to your shoulder. Maybe you need to lift both. Okay. So that's for your side. Body is happy with the stretch or it's just too much. This one is too much. Okay. So if you find and hold or lift your right, left knee and let a little your left and rock front and back. Make sure from the side. But remember. You can stop at the time. You've got a few options to try. So you can join us again or just wait for the other side. This is very deep stretch for your right side, right hip. If your body is really ready for that. And relax. Now you're left. So check both hands, especially your left is underneath your shoulder. Toes first, inhale, exhale. But remember, you can start here. Inhale, exhale. Okay. Check. How about going lower? If you're moving your chest, shoulders as well as your hips sinking down or both elbows. And now we're holding, checking, where is my leg? Where's my shoulder? You, I can pull my knee to my shoulder. I'm going to hold my left side higher, right? Or even both, All right? Or fine with this, you've got both elbows, so you can try from side to side. It's just Try to understand there's no shortcut from first one to the last one, and you can just skip some of them, just go, okay, yeah, I'm going quicker with this one. This is step by step. If you're feeling, yeah, that's nice, I like it, I'm enjoying the stretch, to go deeper. So if you couldn't rest your both elbows on the floor, lifting your knee doesn't help, okay? This is only if you're happy and comfortable with your both elbows on the floor and you've got your Spine nice and straight line. Okay, and slowly just relax. Again, higher hips, lower, stretching arms. Pushing your chest belly to the floor by moving your legs out, keep them wider. Good breaths. And slow breaths. Okay. Now, left leg forward. Find a position. Higher hips, lower. Just checking knee and ankle. Strong glutes on your left, right side. Now hands together. Inhale, slowly exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Twist 
trying to engage your abs, pull them in through the spine. In high center. And let's remember this one still works. Right? Yeah, this is just too much for my legs. They are so sore already. This is a better option for you to really focus on with this nice twist. And be the whole time down. If you're that deep with me, you can try right foot, tuck your toes, inhale, lift, and slowly exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Any position right now, happy to hold. Just stay and enjoy. Beautiful smile on your face. Inhale, slowly exhale. And relax. Lots for your legs. But yeah, why not? Now in here, inhale, exhale. Remember, as you exhale, abs in, pull in through the spine. So that's going to really practice and also strengthen your core. Inhale, and exhale. As you're getting lower to the side, this is a good position for your strong loads, back leg. Inhale and exhale. You can hold or try to left. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Last one. Any position, hold right now. Shoulders down. Inhale. Slowly exhale on your four or plank to down dog again. On your four hands with your shoulders to the front, knees with your hips. Looking down and how is your belly, how is your lower back? Check if you're unconsciously making this position, which means there's no support for your lower back from your abs, which is a sign for you. You need to take some time to strengthen your core. So now you need to tuck your pelvis under slightly to keep your lower back almost flat. Instead, Dropping muscles like this. So you're using everything right now. And now, left leg to your side. Inhale from your left. Exhale, try to swing or even cross to your right side. Inhale and slowly exhale. Inhale and exhale. From the side. To be lower or higher. You can hold. You're gonna have your head, have your lower back, or try your left arm. Inhale, slowly exhale. If you're losing balance, both hands on the floor. Inhale, and exhale. One more. And relax. Okay, now right leg, inhale. Slowly exhale to your left side. Inhale, and exhale. Last one, hold maybe it's more like a center just behind your right foot, or you can cross for further deeper stretch right hip and check how strong is the balance, how much stability you can hold right now. Inhale, exhale, maybe close to the floor, like more bending your elbow to lift your hands, or bring it all the way. Inhale, 
Alright, next slide. And box. Try box. Remember, any variation works for you. You need to enjoy this stretching. It needs to be nice, comfortable. If you're ready for deeper, stay alone to stretch your hips, your chest, stretch your arms, hold together, bend your elbows. And now you can pull your shoulders and your head lower to the floor. You do that, the other blocks, and use them as well. So as your hands higher, that's deeper stretch for your upper body. And or again, elbows. So now you're trying to pull your head between your arms to stretch. But still, your forehead is on the floor. So that's your head in line with your, ear, with your arms. And slowly relax. Okay, another quick break. Let's sit. We've got the left leg straight as long as you can because if the muscle is really tight, your knee maybe needs to be bent. Foot position. If your toe is pointing forward, that's a less stretching for muscles back of your leg. As much as you flex your foot, you're going to feel you contracting from the front and you're feeling deeper stretch back of your leg. If you can't sit upright, it would be good to have something, yoga block or blanket pillow, one or two, to sit higher. Because right now it's all about sitting nice and upright if your spine is really long, this natural curve in your lower back is stuff like this, right? So you're trying to bring your chest towards your right back. Left is on your knee and you're twisting to your right side. Inhale. If your leg is straight, make sure your toes and your left foot pointing up. Inhale. Nice twist, you can pull your arm for more and exhale back to center. Inhale, slowly exhale. Inhale, and exhale. And one more, you can hold this hand just barely touching the floor. Avoid leaning on this arm because you still want to sit upright to activate muscles in your core. Could be hand, or if you're going deeper in the stretch, easy, it's no tension in your shoulder like this. So better to keep your hands. But if you're fine, you can twist really deep. Could be form arm floor on your back, or you can cross the hind. Watch your left leg, keep it straight. Keep smiling, inhale. Slowly exhale back to center. Now, left leg cross to your right. So you've got space. You place your right foot over your left leg. Show it here. Right? So moving here to make space. So you're going to increase the stretch in your right hip. Again, pointing forward or pointing up. You don't want any rotation on this leg on the floor. And the same. Inhale, exhale. Just make sure you've got the right hip, your butt cheek still on the floor. So your position is the same. Nice and tall, nice and upright. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Hold back or cross behind. Nice stretch for you. Right side as well as left upper back as you pulling your elbow or you place your arm to pull for more. It's going to help stretch your upper back and right side. Inhale and exhale center. Okay. Now right leg bend or straight. Foot position. 
maybe here, but no rotation, just forward or up. And now to your left side, in high, uh, next side. Inhale, and exhale. And one more. Hold. Check this option works for you. Phoenix stretch. Right side, upper back, shoulder. Inhale. Slow exhale. Now press your right, so you can place your left okay? this way, like that. And again, inhale and exhale. Right stretch for all your muscles, lower back area. That's a nice movement. Work the mobility muscles about lower back. Very, very good exercise pose for lumbar area. And hold again, more, but we're not doing this one. We're using all the benefits from every single pose to work for flexibility and strength at the same time. More flexibility. In your hip, but stronger core muscles. More mobility in your lower back, but nice stretch on your right side. Inhale, slow, yes. And relax. Okay. Let's change your position. Lay down your back. If you're new to yoga, any kind of exercise, first on your forearms, hold your knees close to your body and slowly roll back on the floor. So that's the easy way to protect your lower back if you don't have strong muscles in your core. And now cross legs, arms away from your body, push your shoulders to the floor and try to rock your legs, hips side to side, holding opposite shoulder down on the ground. In high, we twist, exhale, center or in high, twist. And exhale all the way on the side. So it depends how is your breathing pattern for now. But session by session, you're going to feel you can breathe slower and deeper. Improve and use the capacity of your lungs to deliver much more oxygen. The same, breathe in. Inhale, slow exhale. Back to center. And now, right leg straight or slightly bent, but keep on the floor. Right hand on your left knee, pull and hold the stretch. You to feel stretch on your left side, starting from your arm, chest, shoulder, muscles of the back, and hip, glutes area. Press your left shoulder to the floor. You can look up or you can turn your head to your left side. Have a good stretch for your neck if you'd like to. And good breaths in and slowly out. Inhale and slowly exhale. Back to center. Take your right, stretch your left, opposite hand, opposite knee, and again, you're not rolling your body, it's only your lower part, right shoulder, the same, on the floor, if you notice you're lifting, better to move your leg pointing up instead of making this movement, okay? That's compensation, it's just too much going on in here, and body is using the Balancing point here to support and protect the muscles. So that's why we always say, listen to your body. That's why. But you need to know what actually we're looking for. In here, compensation is in your shoulder like this. Then one inch, that's the spine. 
Aha, uh -huh. my body is sniffing shoulder, so I need to go easy with my right leg. So I don't pull that much. Takes time, eventually you can bring lower butt. It's not the case yet. Left needs to be on your right. No, the left that doesn't have to. Is to feel the stretch and hold right shoulder on the floor. Inhale. And slowly exhale. Okay, finish all the stretching points. Now you can be ready for relaxation, the favorite part for all my members. Before, just give us a good stretch. All your muscles, your fingers, your toes, your heels, your fingers. And if you're comfortable on the floor, just arms by your side, palms facing up, so that's easier to relax if you're not touching the floor. And now, guess a few times, just turn your head to be sure there's no more tension. You can give us a good shake, shake your body. But if you don't like to lay down on the floor, use this transition to change and do your relaxation in different ways. And remember this transition after relaxation as well to sit down. So now we can get ready. I'm going to stay with my cross legs, but you can take any position for you, which helps you to relax right now. If you're ready, you can close your eyes. Deep breath in. out in high Deep brush in, out. And now to relax your head, relax your face, relax your neck. Deep breath in, out. And now, relax your shoulders, left. Right. Relax your arms. Left arm. Right. And relax your hands, left hand, right, 
deep breath in. Um. And now relax your hips left. Right. Relax your legs. Left. Right. Relax your feet. Relax your left and right foot. Keep breathing deeply. Slowly. Your body is heavy. Your body is relaxed. Try to feel this sensation of relaxation. Enjoy this moment. It's for you. Relax. Release. Rest. Your body is relaxed. Your body is relaxed. Take the deep inhale. Exhale. You can open your eyes. If you prefer to continue your relaxation, that's fine. Take your time. This moment is so precious. 
but it is enough for you. You're happy to finish without changing position, very slowly. Start to wake your body, start your fingers, hands, open, shut them, open your toes with your feet. Still staying the same position, give yourself a good stretch as you've done before relaxation. So give yourself a good stretch. If you're ready to sit down, remember the same transition, but if you want to stay for longer, that's okay. You're at home, your own time, your own pace. If you're gonna be ready, just sit on the floor a few times. Inhale, lift your arms. And when you exhale, slowly relax. So that's a sign for your body. You finish the relaxation and you slowly Rising your heart rate. Thank you. So usually, if I got people around, I always ask, how was it? It's always good to know if you find the session good for you, enough challenge or was too hard. Hopefully not, because as you know, you've got options to try. So I hope it was a good session and you find your own option adaptation for, for your own individual needs. Mm -hmm. And yeah, still got a few more days with yoga for beginners and not only for beginners. And thank you for being with us. If you like this session, please give me a thumbs up. And the comments, how was it? How are you feeling right now? Share your experience and yeah, your journey with yoga. Just leave the comment below to show other people. If you wanted to try, yes, of course it is. <laughs> no question about that. So Friday, have a lovely weekend. Stay safe, healthy and tuned with us. And I'm going to see you on the next session. Today, we've got relaxing yoga six o'clock very nice way to start your weekend stress-free and tomorrow three classes school yoga 10 o'clock healthy back 11 o'clock and relaxing yoga six o'clock as well all right guys take care bye